So, so salam alaikum and welcome to the channel. Now, um, I want to do like a quick video. I really hope that it will be a quick one because I only have 15 minutes of recording space on my phone. So I really want to just do 15 minutes. 15 minutes! <gasps> no! Okay, so today is the 28th of Ramadan. So we got two more days to go. Two more days and this Ramadan is done, at least for this year. So alhamdulillah for that. And you know, I kind of like this neutral look. It's not too much, which is what I was going for. I wanted to talk about the Allah Fimuriyo that died, that recently died. And there were so many arguments about it. You know, usually I will find interesting topics like to talk about on um, on um, online. And then I'll be like, oh, do I even want to do this or do I not want to do it? So, and I actually have like some interesting topic that I feel like it personally affects me. And I would like to talk more about it. But I just haven't gotten any time to really actually um, make a space or make time to to do this so I will do this and yeah so I was before I go into the topic that I want to that I want to um, talk about I was cleaning my room and I found this book it's um, Asiri Amokunjali 2 and by Latiyowo Kola Akinladi and it is about I, I've read it I read it a long time ago and it's my sister's book actually yeah it was my it's my sister's book and she i remember when she, when i read the book and she was like she didn't want to give me so i you know she has lots of books so i always like go and take her books and just read them so i i remember i read this like look this was written this was written well the text was probably published 2000 and the cover design by Vantage Publishers in Ibadan and in 2003. So I probably, okay, so Agbeja de Kenny, so the first edition 2003, the second edition 2004. So I probably read it around like 2003, 2004. And I remember, like, I, you know, if I have to like tell you about this book, I have to read it like from page to page again. Because I forgot, but I know that the 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 man in the book he has three wives, and I think maybe he died, and then he has to, and he has this this wealth he saved, and somebody stole it, and they're just trying to find who stole the wealth. Okay, let me let me read the summary at the back. I hope um I hope this actually works. ogota naira ni owoti Alai sana fikwa mosi nusifu ni yarare. Sungoni ba tioku mosi sifu mukuba wu mukuba wu kaka ni nure rara tani tani ji okeme tani rabi. Egberu, you know Egberu. I I believe that would be like it's maybe six hundred thousand naira. Honestly, I, I don't know what I said before, but Egbe uh, Rolona Ogo Tainera is 60,000. I think that's what I said before. I don't know what I said. But, you know, Oke, Oke Meta, Oke Meta Naira, which is 60,000. Because Oke Ken is um, 20,000. So, continuation. Ho Ale Jai Yaore, Ti Ampe Ni Ye Wande Lugbe Owona Obi. Yeah, but when you read you and it comes to so not see badly one man or law more when you know safe for them. Who are the J. Ya Ya Wore KG T. and Queen Yasa Kelly will not be or more Jay Jay near Shake. New so dear saying as a cafe fee cockerel. I ye deru I Remy Remy as a cafe fee cockerel. I ye deru. Can see safe no. Okay. Omo jai jai ni ashake. Ni osudi esenye ashake fe fi koko ro. Aye deru can see safe no. Nipa to ko omo osinile. 
Sugon awo ya ba le on si ba sakewi gidi gidi lojo na tabi o wa le je fola sade yawo yawo kekere tin gbe ilu keji lo gbowo na you know this thing is like rough so i can't even like see so much i'm trying to like abi baba oni se gbeyen ni ni gbogbo igba ni baba yen joko sinu ile lodo alaisan na ti o so pe ohun sogun fun sibe gbogbo ara adupo lo mo pe baba oni se gbeyen yen fewo ore na wa di ori tamerin tin da mu alejo o di aditunla this has to be o titi titi olofin toto omo olusina fi debe to ka asoloju egun to si tu di asiri amokun jale sita wow i've read this thing a long time ago you know like the yoruba is not that that's like firm on my tongue anymore but i try sha i hope i try okay so oju asake rewe si nigbati atokun ni bere ni pa kokoro to fi jan safe na wo o si salaye bi o se bi kokoro na ninu apo ifalowo re to si ro pe ba le won lo se si gbagbe re sibe o tun so pe pelu pe ohun ati akin yo lo si oja ajegbe mi leke ni owore ojo keji lati lo wa di boya awon elerun igbe ti on joko lodo won ni won se se fi kokore na sinu apona tun de bere akoko ti asake gbe eran igbe fun folasade asake si dahun pe la le ojo kan na ni ko ran ti akoko gan mu boya ohun fun ra re lo gbe eran na lo fun folasade tabi o fi eran na ran omode kan si tabi o so fun folasade pe Emran ran wa ninu apoko lo gbe sugbon o sa ran ti pe ohun mu apo na lowo lale oje na ati pe eran na ko si ninu re mo nigbati ohun lo rabureji so that's you know that's that like what i have to like read but you know it's kind of like flow friendly like i'm actually surprised when i was with when i was reading this paragraph and it's like oh like i do this every day no i don't do this every day but mind you a lot of yoruba literature doesn't doesn't have the signs because you know like the signs change the intonation sometimes like i still know the signs do re mi so if i read a word now and i like i'm really confused like i can usually go back to do re mi and like you know just the signs you know yoruba is a tonal language and i think um maybe and, and i think arabic as well and like maybe some other um asian language but you know what i mean so i've already used nine minutes and i really want to talk to with to uh, talk about the alafi of oyo that died i mean in that life when i mean to god we belong to and to him we return so i mean it was he ruled for 52 years yeah that is more than five decades five decades to be a king like a celebrated king at that too because i think it was like a secretary or something before he became a king so he died on the 22 of um april this year and th it's this month which which was um, about 21st of Ramadan. Yeah, it's um, he died on the 21st of Ramadan, which is like during like the last 10 days of Ramadan when all everybody was busy like trying to find, you know, trying to like make, make the most of the ten, last 10 days, you know, like doing like Tahajud and Laila to the Qadr and all that. And you know, he died in this blessed month. And I don't know, like if you, if you died, um do while you are doing something good i mean that counts too i mean i i per, i personally like went to find like if there are virtues in like dying in the month of ramadan as well said that like the the doors of um hellfire is closed right now and the doors of um jenna is open 
So like it's a I don't want to say it's a big sign because you know I'm not a scholar or anything and yeah so that's all I can say about it but he became king when he was 31 years old guys he, he became king when he was 30 31 years old and he had 13 wives he you know I don't know if it was I don't know if it was Tafa Balewa or this man like he was there when like the Nigeria was like still got the independence you know during the, all those Azikwe, Tafabaliwa, even like Muritala Muhammad and all of them were alive and I believe he's among like the first Nigerians to go to a Hajj I don't know I'll find that out <laughs> he actually holds quite a position while he was um, like during the during his time you know he was he was the chancellor for like the Huthman Danford University for 12 years in Sokoto and like um, when Muritala Muhammad like he was going to Hajj he named he listed he enlisted him as one of his entourage while going to Hajj so and his birth name I'm pretty sure was Lamiti Adeyemi or something yes it's Lamidi Adeyemi and before him it was Badekesin Adeyemi so I, I guess they basically followed like the the right way for like leaders especially like tradition um, rulers as in like kings you know they usually you know how like there is like four terms for like presidency and everything for a king or for any leader really they say like you know you should the person lead through their lifetime until they died and then when they die that's when like because you know the four years time is kind of like it's debatable it's um how do you say this the four years the four years time in terms of presidency and other kind of leadership it's debatable it's like do you leave someone there for their entire lifespan or should it should it just be like for a specific number of time because there is this notion that they will fight like there will be so much fight if you like keep replacing like you can just leave one person to just live throughout you plus like it's birth rights I guess royalty in a sense birthright but I mean I, I love Anna yes so what I want to talk about and my battery handed I have to like do this now oh, I guess seven minutes let me see that is that about like um like in terms of really said leave the person for we leave the person to their lifetime in terms of um in terms of leadership leave the person on till they they rule until they're there or else if something happened or if the person doesn't want it maybe that's i i don't know but it's just the notion that's all maybe religiously or logistically you should leave someone to rule until there because you know changing every time like you know it's kind of it's kind of dampering things really and if you kind of really think about it it's like you know you're changing the system of governments like somebody like for four years you're following this particular person to like govern in a certain way using their ideologies their beliefs and everything and then the next for another few years it's another person and you know that constant change just kind of like throw people off sometimes so so like leave the person on and you know they've been doing that except like during like um maybe 2019 when um what's his name um sanusi was there uh, what's his name again? Yeah, it was Sanusi, the for Emir of I don't know <laughs> I don't know if it was Kano or something, but I know it's one of the Alsa um cities and Sanusi was there for like I don't know two or four years and then like he was and then he wasn't there anymore. Which 
like I haven't seen I haven't seen it done in Nigeria like where like the emir or a king or oba will only be there for a few years and then they say oh like they just take him out of the seats of the or the throne he's usually there for the lifetime even like the new one like um, Bayo or something I don't know Anyways, the one even like the new one after Sanusi was yeah whatever they did, um even the new one was still there. So I was kind of like, so what was the reason? Because you know you imagine that if Sanusi will be ruling for like this entire life, but then that doesn't appear to be so. But that's also beside the point. The point is to talk about like the barrier and all these arguments going around. You know, hopefully it, it wouldn't take them long to find another king to rule the the city or the city or town or what, what if, whatever you want to call it. Hopefully it won't take them that long because I know in my own city or town, um, it took them like three to four two to three years to find a new king and I'm like what is to, what, what is happening like why why did it took them that long to like find a new king for the city and they were like oh they you know they're like oh it should be Christian no it should be Muslim blah 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 and like this this fight went long for so long for two years or three years before they finally decide on someone and hopefully they won't like be doing that because I know like after after the days I was like wow so this I used like 52 years so like what is going to like I wonder whose family is going to like come on now and you know being a king or being uh, being chosen for a king in Nigeria is as very conflicting and very um, competitive as it is with like governorship like or presidential election so it's like you know some people will be like oh it's my family's next no it's my family you know they fight and there is like sometimes there are even bloodshed can you imagine the bloodshed over like ruling but mm, it's so sad it can be so sad so I was kind of like you know I've been kind of looking a little close but not too close because you know I'm not, I'm not from the town anyway i'm from Oyo state but i'm not from the town so i don't think i'm in no <laughs> so i don't think i'm even like related so i shouldn't be bothered but it's quite interesting to kind of see what's going to happen there yeah interesting and then this um, thing came out about like his barrier and like the religious rights and like the traditional rights. And I'm like, is this is it is this even supposed to be? Because Lam because the Oba Lamidi was a Muslim, and by what the internet said, he was a practicing Muslim during. The time that they be like say, oh, they want to select Oba or Ijoye or whatever for a seat or a throne, there will always be like this, um, this fight among like the religion and like the, the traditionalists, even like every religion, like the you know the Christians feel like it's their turn to rule, the Muslims still want to stay on the throne, and then the traditionalists come and be like, you know. You still have to respect us, you still have to do this, you still have to do that, blah blah. And it's just quite interesting that sometimes you hear like these people, like this Oba, this Ijoyo, being pressured to do some things or to participate in some act of worship, like traditionally, when like their their religion speak against it. Like say you're a Christian, say the Oba is a Christian in terms of like um the Oba <laughs> Obanita. Let me just say Obanita because I cannot say that way, that name. Like I say Obadeye Yo Yo. 
I cannot say it for them to say my you hear this often. I I remember when I was in my own town and the the Oba had just died and then and the new one that they chose was a Muslim and there was this big fight and I'm like oh he has to uh, he has to participate in this traditional rite and everything. And sometimes the the no, the problem just comes like why do you even choose these people if you're not going to respect them, if you're not going to respect their wishes, if they don't want to participate in a traditional um, something but then you're still like forcing them or if you don't participate in this we're going to like and um, take you off if you don't do this I mean like you know on it ultimately it, de it depends and it's the choices on the person you shouldn't as much as you shouldn't be it's not fair to be pressured to do something that you don't want to do or something that goes against your religion or against your belief or against even like your personal I don't know affirmations or everything like we find that this sometimes like these leaders you know whether they are political or tr political or royal leaders get pressured into doing some things that they don't want to do will you say like greed or something happen and they were like you know I don't want to lose this power I mean I'm the king of this story maybe I should just like acknowledge this, but all, the, all those kind of things and you know I've heard like so many stories like that and sometimes it's sad and sometimes like some Muslim clearly be like oh um, you they don't want they don't want to support this they don't want to do this they don't want to get in involved with this but some some of them do speak out on like this kind of conflicts you know so in terms of the Oba Lamidi at the Yemi that died so there was this like notion that oh he was this the way like he was displayed in front of the I mean the picture that was put on the social media when like the Muslim clerics went to pray the Janeza prayer for him and that was what that was about oh like it was too public blah 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 and this and that and then i was like um i was like you know but the king was a muslim so like of course that's muslim clerics the imams or like all the others they, they have to like you know bath in a certain way they have to pray janazah for him if the other has like a written or some kind of agreement among like his um Ijoye or chiefs or imams bye speak to you soon and another time salam <laughs>